I'm a student employee slash intern, so I work at open hours, I help plan events, um, I work in marketing, things like that. Uh, I've been loosely involved with Open Ground since my third year. Um, I plan flash seminars, so we'd always try to get flash seminars into Open Grounds. Um, this is the first year that I've worked at Open Grounds in any sort of formal capacity, though. Uh, so I write Engage UVA, I plan flash seminars. Um, I'm a member of the University Guide Service, and I like to work on civic engagement initiatives here at the University. So I'm doing the Peace Corps. I'll be serving in Jordan as a community youth development organizer, um, and then I'll be working at Deloitte, a consulting firm in DC once I return. I think one school I've definitely learned in Open Grounds is how to present something. So Open Grounds is really more of an idea. I mean, it is a space, it's a physical space, but really it's an idea, it's collaboration, it's innovation, it's how to get people working together. And I think one of the challenges that Open Grounds has is, is making that idea something clear that people can really understand. Um, so I think one thing that being an, an employee at Open Grounds um, that I've learned is really is how to present an idea in a way that makes people more excited about it and want to be engaged. Um, and that's something I think is very important. And I mean, I think really Peace Corps, Lloyd, I think really any job that you work on after you graduate from college is all about how you present things, how you present yourself. Um, how you can make people feel invested in something that they're not necessarily a part of and how they can become a part of that and then contribute to the, the growth of that organization. I think that's something I've learned here at Open Grounds that I can definitely take you know, anywhere I go in the world. One thing I think that's really cool is that the staff that works here at Open Grounds is incredible. So Professor Bill Sherman is an architecture professor and he's really the visionary behind this space. Um, he's not here as much as Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Hepler is, but Lindsay is really the program manager. Um, she drives events, she's really interested in anything you want to do, and I think Open Grounds is special because it's a place where I can come in with a vision. You know, I want to work on a community health project. Go and tell Lindsay or tell Professor Sherman or tell any of the interns, um, and it, we can really make it happen. There are a lot of resources, the technology is incredible, and, and the people behind it are really the people who drive what I've been talking about, this whole concept of an idea as a space. Um, which I think is really cool. And the other thing is I think Open Grounds has really helped me clarify what I'm interested in. I think that's something that a university is supposed to do and Open Grounds is sort of a microcosmic example of what an, a university should be. Um, so you know, I, I came in thinking I was gonna be an environmental science major, moved away from that towards English, um, but I'm still really interested in community health and how um, we can use development to you know alleviate different social ills, especially ones related to health. Um, and because Open Grounds is right next to the Center for Global Health, it's been really easy for me to be connected with different resources to plan events with medical school students, and professors, and doctors. Um, and I think that that is something awesome that a university should be able to do. And I think Open Grounds is a great resource for anybody who's interested in driving their own academic interests um, through extracurricular avenues.